Hello boys and girls, thank you for tuning into this video lesson. Our goal is to become familiar with the names of the parts inside a tooth and eventually we want to know what purpose those parts have and what they do or what their purpose is. In order to reach this goal of becoming familiar with the names of the parts inside a tooth, we want to watch this video, do a little bit of reading tomorrow and then do a little bit of diagramming tomorrow as well. Um, I want to take you through some pictures. This picture just is great proof that uh, the inside of a t there are many parts to the inside of a tooth, and I, you can see me circling these parts over here. Many things are on the inside of a tooth. Probably more things inside your tooth than on the outside. Believe it or not. Uh, funnily, uh, or sorry, uh, funny enough, we're going to be. Um, Interestingly enough is what I'm trying to say. We're actually going to be studying a part that's on the outside of the tooth while we study something on the inside. But, you know, this is there's a lot on the inside of a tooth. Take a look at this picture. This picture, this graphic, shows us a lot of the vocabulary that we're going to be studying today. In fact, all of it. We'll be studying roots, pulp, dentin. That, that word is pronounced dentin, enamel, and crown. Okay? So I know there's a, a gum called uh, dentine or dentin. Um, I'm sure that has something to do with what the dentin is, maybe or maybe not. Uh, but again, roots, pulp, dentin, enamel, and crown. What I'd like us to do is take a look at one more picture here before we go to each individual part. Again, what you see here is a tooth. One important piece to know is this this is the gum line. You can probably feel for your own gum line, whether it's at your top arch or lower arch. And uh, certainly this is the enamel. This is what people would see on the outside. And that's the one part that we're going to study that's on the outer part of the tooth. But there's so much more on the inside. A couple things I want you to think about. If you were to hurt your tooth, which part do you think, if it was hurt, would give you the most amount of pain? So think about that again. If you were to hurt your tooth, which part of your, or which part of your tooth, if you were to hurt it, would give you the most amount of pain? Would hurting your enamel give you the most amount of pain? Would hurting your pulp give you the most amount of pain? Would hurting the dentin give you the most amount of pain? Think about that. Let's actually study the root right now. Here is the root. Okay, do a little bit of erasing here tidy things up. Very good. All right, so with the root is the part of the tooth that is below the gum line. And watch with my marker here. I'm going to outline the gum line right here. You can actually feel for your lower arches uh, gum line. Um, and anything that's below that is considered to be the root. You might even actually be able to see through your gum line and anything below that gum line is considered to be the root. So this is the part that I'm putting in a box here that we normally see, at least this white part, that enamel. But everything below those gums, that's considered to be the root. And on your lower arch teeth, you can't see that because they're, they're under the gums. And consider your upper arch teeth. What's underneath your gums on, on your upper arch teeth? The roots. So roots, take a look at this photo. Can you identify the roots here? Well, if you look in this picture here, for the lower arch teeth, the roots are below these blue lines that I'm making. That's where the roots are, below these blue lines. And in your upper arch teeth, why don't you guess, where do you think the roots are? Sure, the roots are going to be below the gums. Okay, they're in the gums, actually. So the roots for these teeth are actually up here in the gums. So those are the roots. Let's move to the next part. Here's a crown of the tooth. Okay, now the crown of the tooth is the opposite of the root. The crown of the tooth is any th part of the tooth that is above the gum line. So we're going to make an imaginary gum line right here. Okay, and anything below this is the root. But anything above the gum line that you can see is the crown. All of you can see your lower arch crowns. Okay, now here's what I want you to do. I want you to touch your lower arch gums, okay? I, or at least do this uh, later. But go look at your lower arch gums at some point and just look at what you see above them. You see the crowns of your teeth because the part of your teeth that you can see is, cons is called the crown. I want you to take a look at this picture. This is a neat picture. I'm going to extend this page and move this down a little bit. Okay. Excuse me. 
So we're looking at the crown. Sometimes when you injure your tooth, like this looks to be like an injured tooth, what the dentist does, the dentist puts a crown, it's kind of like a cap, over the injured tooth. Well, if you just look over here, here's the gum line. And anything above the gum line that you can see, that's considered to be the crown. Dentists also refer to crowns as being those devices that are put on top of a broken tooth or a chipped tooth. This tooth looks to be chipped here, so the dentist is going to make an artificial cap called a crown and place it over the tooth, and that's what it will look like. It looks like a, a helmet, actually, but, uh, you know, bi speaking biologically, but, you know, with science, the crown of your tooth is the part that you can see, and it's above your gum line. Boys and girls, this looks like a molar because it has four cusps, by the way. Moving on, let's take a look at our enamel. This is the part that's not inside the tooth. This is on the outside of the tooth. And I have a kind of a, a picture that I'm going to show you. One of the survey questions asks you, which part of the tooth do you find most either uncomfortable or most gross to look at? Well, this is the enamel. And this is a part of the tooth that is on the outside. What I'm kind of shading in over here, this white part is the enamel. Enamel is white. I'll tell you what the uh, other stuff is. Well, so... The enamel, you can go ahead and touch. Now, be careful when you tap your enamel with your fingernails. It may hurt you, actually. You know, you may be tapping the enamel of your incisors. But go ahead and tap your enamel. This enamel is actually supposed to be almost as strong as the bone in your body, or any of the bones in your body, for that matter. But this enamel is supposed to be very strong, actually. It's a very strong substance. Uh, you might have noticed the dentist using a pick like this to scrape at your enamel and you, that might feel a little uncomfortable but what they're trying to do is get tartar off the enamel this appears to be tartar it could be something else and I can explain that later take a couple take a look at a couple other pictures there that I have for you this is actually a real tooth and <laughs> you can see the enamel uh, at the top of the tooth here it's white right okay and um, take a look at this picture I like this picture. This is actually my favorite out of all the pictures because it really shows the enamel well. The enamel is this outer layer over here. And underneath the enamel, you're going to study it in a few seconds, is dentin. And underneath the dentin is pulp. So it's like if you were to keep on digging. Remember that question I asked you? Where do you think it would hurt the most if you hurt a certain part of your tooth? If you, if you chip your enamel, what if you get something in your dentin? What if you go all the way down to the pulp? Each of these is a layer. Your enamel is a first layer. The dentin, this yellow part right here, is a second layer. And the pulp is a very inner part. It's that pink layer. But the enamel is right on the outside. Let's go to the dentin right now. Okay. So we're almost e ending here. If you need to take a break, that's fine. But this is the dentin. Uh, the dentin is a layer below the enamel. Here's the enamel. It's the outer part of your tooth. Go ahead and touch your enamel. I'm just touching mine right now. The dentin is right below it, right here. The dentin is actually softer than the enamel, and it's below the enamel. What it's considered to be is soft tissue. It's a collection of cells, actually. And I'm actually going to show you a couple maybe gross pictures of, uh, of enamel. Now, it's not good if you can see your enamel. If you can see your enamel, that means your dent. that means your, sorry, uh, let me take that back. It's not good if you can see your dentin. If you can see your dentin, that means your enamel is wearing away. Here is a photograph of a person's teeth whose enamel has worn away, and what you are seeing here is the dentin. And that is, it is gross, I would say. Um, but those are teeth without much enamel. They've gone down to that second layer, that dentin. Be careful, we're getting close to that very inner layer called the pulp. This is soft tissue. It's a collection of cells. It's below the enamel, and it's actually softer. So if, can you imagine poking this yellow uh, dentin with like something sharp? What if it were to go through it? That might hurt. Finally, um, we have the pulp and then cementum, the pulp. So we studied enamel as the outermost layer, dentin as the layer that's in the middle, and then we have the pulp right here. All of this is the pulp right here and what you see in the pulp or what you know is that it's below the dentin okay it's one layer below the dentin 
It contains blood vessels of the tooth. Ever have a bloody tooth? Guess what? Guess where those blood vessels start to come up from? Uh, below your gums and up into your pulp hair. So all this blood is... Your, your teeth get fed blood, believe it or not, from your body, because they need, it needs blood to survive. And uh, blood rushes through the pulp. Okay? Pulp also contains the nerves of your tooth. Have you ever hurt your tooth, or have ever... Or have you ever had a, a problem with your tooth giving you pain? A lot of that pain is coming from the pulp because your nerves are the things in your body that uh, the brain sends messages to and you send the nerves send them back and you feel pain through your nerves. So uh, you got your nerves right here in the pulp and you have your blood vessels leading to the pulp. Oh, guess what this is? Bone in your jaw, which leads us to the last slide. I know some of you are like, thank goodness, this video is kind of long. Apologize. It's called cementum. It's kind of weird, but what it is, it's, it's a bony material that fixes the tooth to the jaw or to your bone. How do these teeth stay in your mouth without falling out? You've got something called cementum. I'm going to enlarge this picture here. This is what keeps your teeth from sticking in your mouth, the cementum. It's, uh, uh, it's a very bony-like uh, material, and then it, it's kind of like a glue, hence the name cement, that fixes your teeth to your jaw and to your bone. Here's a really neat picture. You can see over here, it's an x-ray. The here is the, the bone, okay, or, the, or the, the gums even. Below it is the bone, um, and inside of it, actually, there's some bone here too, but the cementum is like right around... Um, I'll show you this area right around here. You got your cementum right around there that's allowing this tooth to stay in place. That's it. 12 minutes of video. Not so bad. Come to class prepared. Answer the questions. There's just a few fun questions for you to answer. Take care. Bye.